and I climb this tree for Narrate News. I'm Raji, and this is Narrate News. Welcome. Welcome to the Narrate Narate News. I'm Raji King, fellow Disney lover and designer. This is my cohort in crime, George Philip Sonnenberg, redneck and chigger itcher. This is our first time, so we're super excited. Um, I've got my nerds. I'm ready, prepared. What'd you do today, George? Taught classes. You need to make this funny. I designed and I illustrated all day long. Illustrated sweet, uh, illustrated R2D2 today. And then yesterday, Ewoks. And an Ewok holding a uh, Stormtrooper head, but the Stormtrooper head was too bloody. So I had to re-illustrate it and make it a little bit more uh, simple and, uh, and friendly. That's what we're gonna try to do for you today is keep this simple and friendly. All right, so the first thing we have on the news is kids check-in changes. Um, there's a ton of kids coming in and out of Narrate and we've got to change the way that we're going to do things. Preschool to fifth grade are in the other building across the street and they have their own check-in and then the babies and toddlers are going to be downstairs. So make sure you go in and you talk to the nice folks and just make sure you get your little badge thing and then uh, you follow all their orders. My right, George. <clears throat> Okay, have you been looking to get more involved and enjoy attending the 11 a.m., i.e. you can't get up and make the 9? We have room to add two to three ushers to our 11 a.m. team. They arrive at 10.40 a.m. and usher through 11 a.m. And you'll pick up the money and take it where server tells you and stuff like that. I think you have to help people to get seated too. The annoying people sit on the edge and there's like one of you sit in the middle to help the ushers get the mob seated, all right? the ones that mm -hmm. always come in late. You are still able to attend and enjoy service while ushering. Most ushering serve every other Sunday, but we can be flexible, which means we'll take you whenever we can get you. Fill out an info card and let Sarah know if you're interested. I used to be a waiter, and when I was a waiter, I was given high, high regards as being the best server they've ever had, and I think it's important, and I'm not really like kicking it up on my game on this, but I think that it's important that we're like super friendly when people come in. If you, you just show thing? up and smile and aren't overly rude, you'll qualify. Yeah, I think pretty much anybody can usher, but also realize that you can layer on an additional layer of hospitality. You can, you can. You can, but you can schmooze. Don't scare you never people know. off. Then one last bit on that. Uh, when I was waiting tables, the one thing that you always had to do is you had to read the people. So when they came in, I remember one time I was like Mr. Personality and I'd be like, Hey, so good to see you. Yeah, it's great. What's your day been like? And it was obvious that these two were like on a date. So they were completely annoyed with me, totally hated their experience, and they wanted nothing but to get rid of me. So to George's point, you got to know how to turn it on, when to turn it on. International Walk to School Month is this whole month. It's pretty easy. You just walk your kid to school. However, I will say that we did the first day, which was, I think it was yesterday. Well, Wednesday. Wednesday was supposed to be the day that, like, you were supposed to start it. Mm -hmm. When it was, like, the coldest day or the first starting of the coldest day of this year. Mm -hmm. And it was frigid. And my kids were crying. Jameson's face was completely red. Oh, and uh, Jackson couldn't, like, he was just mummied in a, in a stroller. Um, a lot of good family fun. We went the wrong way. The, the walk to school day took three miles. And we walked through, like, this bog. I got new running shoes and actually jumped in the mud. So if you walk your kid to school, know how to get fun. there. Great fun. And make sure they're adequately dressed. Don't they be are. running through fields. We actually went through a junkyard. Don't do that. Just stay on Don't the trespass. path. trespass. Last but not least, our fall fest. Narrate is bringing the climbing wall to the kids' fall fest in Pioneer, kids fall fest in Pioneer Park. It is a day of free family fun. So bring your family. It's free. Activities on Saturday, October 13th. 10 a.m. to 2, there will be a pumpkin patch, activities, and booze, entertainment, and prizes. <clears throat> pumpkin patch, activity, and you said boo <clears throat> and booze. Well, every time That's you go down... part of the wall? Booze? No, but I'm just saying, every time you go down there, there's always a booth, generally. Oh, so not booze as in beer, but booths. Kind of, yeah. We well, might I've get a lot there. of people that I've really never like beer trying to work the wall. They're not well, going to be in a good condition to be working the wall. There's places near. You'll be on the walking mall. Now, Pioneer, which one is that one? Is that the one over by it's the, the library? Women, it's not the women's part. Yeah, that's it, the one by the library. We would like volunteers to sign up for 90-minute shifts. We line the kids up, put the harnesses on them, run the rope as they come up and down. It's a lot of fun with the little kids. Contact Sarah if you're interested. I've done it a couple of times. And if Sarah's out there, make a sign that says free, more people will come.
This comes up every time. People are afraid to do it because they think it costs money. It's people. free, so we need a sign, Sarah. It says here, George, tell us about your experiences with working the wall. You That's... just said about the free. You didn't say, what about kids? Did you ever lose one? Did one fall off the top? No, they're pretty good. Every once in a while, one will sissy out and not starve. But most of them are pretty good, and you kind of encourage them. Don't touch them. They're disgusting. But October 13th, 10 to 2. Cool. And that is the Narrate News. Is that it? We just say it like that. I'm Raji. And I'm George. And that, we need to hug, is your Narrate News. Stand like this. <laughs>